Hey, good morning, my friends. It's time for the morning briefing. It is so great to be with you here on this gorgeous morning. It's really, really lovely here as we near Christmas. I send you all my very best, my blessings, my best wishes for a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I hope you are doing well. Let me take a sip of this, and then we're going to get right in mm, to it. Oh my God, is that good? It is really great to be with you all. And once again, the weather down here in Surfside, California is absolutely gorgeous. It's another beautiful morning as it is for most of the coastal regions from the Mexican border and below and all the way up to the Channel Island region. It's gorgeous. Flat calm seas out on Tanner Bank this morning where the bluefin tuna are, and we'll get to that in just a second, but I just want to cover weather with you. It's going to get a little breezy out there, but right after Christmas, and I assume most boats are going to be in for Christmas, nobody's going to be out there fishing, so the fish will get a little break, and the weather comes down, and it's absolutely picture perfect. It's going to get a little breezy from time to time. By that, I mean about 12 knots, so that's not bad at all. For the most part, it's going to be just gorgeous. I mean, five knots of wind, two knots of wind, eight knots of wind, like that, and that just makes for perfect fishing conditions, and that blue antenna should hang in there. Remember how much it means to all of us when you hit that like button. Thank you so much for doing that, sharing these videos. It has been fantastic. So many of you are sharing. Subscribe, tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. And man, I'll tell you, I can't thank you enough. There will not be a live Danny Cadota show tonight because I have to move a whole bunch of clothing and get it ready to ship to Mexico. So for those of you who do not know, most of you do because you've contributed, you made this all possible. You've donated clothing and so many articles through the year, we're getting ready to ship a whole bunch of that down south. And then we'll still have more to take care of northern Baja. This particular shipment is destined for Cedros Island and with the hell of a guy with the help the hell sorry Phil with the help of a guy named Phil Capricio we're going to get it down to Cedros to some people who really need it. Phil is an angel. I'll have more about his contributions because without him this doesn't happen. Without you this doesn't happen and that's why buy a raffle ticket one or buy several Get the, the, the perfect holiday gift. You can give them for Christmas. I'll take a photo of them and ship them off to you, and it helps us in these efforts. If you want info on the raffle, you want to help us out, 657-227-6459. And also, before we get into the fish, Eaton Report, uh, January the 6th at 22nd Street Landing, we have a kids' fishing trip. You can come with your kids, your grandkids. It's on us. What we are asking is if you can... When we return by a raffle ticket, do it. If you are having a tough year and you want to take your kids fishing, come on down. It's on 22nd Street Landing. It's on the great folks there who are making this morning possible. And when we get back in, and this is for those of you who don't plan on going on the trip, as well as the, those of you who are on the trip, we're going to have a little celebration at 22nd Street Landing from 1 to 4 p.m. There'll be all kinds of great stuff there for you. And it'll be a chance for us to say thank you for all you do and wish you a great 2023. So, once again, January the 6th, a big day. You want info on that? Uh oh. Here comes the tide. Oh, my little. That's not too bad. Maybe 60 degrees, feels like on my toes right now. All right. Anyway, um, send me a text and I'll send you the information on all of that. And that is 657 227. Six four five nine. All right, let me take you south of the border. And I just talked to Sean Morgan. He runs a yacht out of San Jose del Cabo. That's almost down to Land's End in Baja, California. Down to Cabo is Land's End. But up above there, San Jose del Cabo, Sean says, we've got some wind right now, but it's not bad. And tremendous fishing and real close to home. Sean's fishing a couple of miles from the harbor from a couple of miles to a half a mile, and then other times he'll run a little bit further, but there's Dorado and good striped marlin fishing going on down there in that neck of the woods. Pisces Fleet, my good friends there in Cabo San Lucas, also taking advantage of some great Christmas time fishing and weather. It's about 75 degrees down there right now. Air temp, water temp, about 80 degrees. Perfect fishing going on up 
And so we move you up, we'll just make a huge jump. And this is 140 miles below the border, San Quentin area, where there's tremendous barred perch fishing on many of the beaches there and up at Colinette. But the guys out of San Quentin and all those sport fishing guys are catching yellows along the coast, out at the islands, and great rockfish going on there also. So that bite has been tremendous and it is continuing that way. The Ensenada area continues to produce really excellent rockfish. Most of those guys are coming out, hanging a left and going down to Soledad Bank right there off of Santo Tomas where the rockfish bite has been tremendous. No real surface action besides Bonita around Putabanda area and occasional yellowtail there around Todos Santos Island. So there is that, but it's all mostly rockfish for our dear friends there at Blackfin Sword Fishing, Arnie Sword Fishing, Costa Baja Sword Fishing. Don't forget to check out our shorts. A year ago, almost a year ago, a guy walked out there in Punabanda and gaffed a bluefin tuna that had swam right up on the beach. And I'm going to release that again in a short for you in just a little bit. In fact, when you're watching this, it'll be up. So check out our shorts. They're a lot of fun, and I know you're going to enjoy that. All right, let's take you out to Tanner Bank, talk about that right now. Tanner Bank, we've still got about 58, 60 degree water temperature. It's going to get a little breezy, but nothing to worry about. By that, I mean just 10 knots, 12 knots. But right now, it is gorgeous, beautiful weather. And I'll tell you, that doesn't hurt one bit when we're trying to catch those bluefin tuna. The bluefin tuna have grown up also. A lot of it is 30 to 60 pounds. Once in a while, you'll see one up over 100 pounds, and you still have a smattering. Morning, Lupe. Uh, you still have a smattering of that 18 to 25 pound fish. They love to bite on the live squid. That has been one of the preferred ways to get it, and there is squid absolutely everywhere. And that just bodes well for a tremendous spring up there in the Channel Islands. I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but that is going to be fantastic this year. Take it to the bank, just like my albacore predictions. They're always right. Yeah, right. Uh, so uh, that squid uh, out there on Tanner is working really well. Now, if you can get bit on 40-pound fluorocarbon, that's the way to go. But be prepared to drop it down. And also, hook sizes from number two, number four size hooks up to 1-0 and two size hooks. Circle hooks, probably best of all, but I bring J hooks also. And talk to your crew, guys. They're going to let you know. www.opsinusa.com. Opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout, and you'll get some really great fluorocarbon and a love note from owner Greg Brown as well as a free Christmas gift. So make sure you do that. Get Opsin up and you're going to be in really good shape. Now, once again, that bite out there is contingent upon weather. We do not have any weather to shut this thing down. In fact, as I mentioned up front, the weather's going to get beautiful after Christmas. It's going to be flat, gorgeous, calm. So you have a really great opportunity to take those fish. So jump on it, have some fun and incredible stuff. I don't think Talking to Tom Durr, who's been in this business for literally seven decades. Tom's been in this, and he said he's never seen anything like it. And Tom Durr has seen it all. So really great stuff going on out there. And 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro has a slew of boats heading out that way. So the Freedom, the Amigo, the Pride, all those guys have been cashing in on this great bluefin tuna by excellent fishing out there and there's also rockfish to go along with it remember january the first the rockfish season will close in southern california so take advantage of some great channel island fishing which has been stupendous here recently it's been really really excellent fishing going on there along our coastal areas i'm talking half and three quarter day guys they've had some great fishing good sheep's at it white fish you know it's really been excellent Remember, January the 1st, it's Fini, so you definitely want to jump on it. At that point in time, you'll have to go south of the border to catch your rockfish, and San Diego base boats will have a slew of those colonnette trips. Some of those guys are going to hold to their colonnette trips. Some of them are going to go out and fish for bluefin tuna, but that's where you're going to want to go in Southern Cal. You're going to want to go south of the border. Whether you drive down to Blackfin, and jump on a ponga with those guys and go catch those big lings on the Soledad bank, bouncing an iron off the bottom. What could be better than that? Whether you do that or you jump on a San Diego base boat and head down the coast. Passports required on most of those trips. 
out of San Diego, just to let you know that. Well, I've kind of covered all that stuff. Here in the surf, we continue to see more and more barred perch. Remember that? Just extraordinary scene yesterday with Eddie Leland. And for those of you who are not in on it, if you thought I overreacted to a barred perch being caught behind me like I was doing, you know, the celebration that was, you know, beyond, like, you know, hey, buddy, calm down. It's, it's a barred perch, you know. Not that big a deal. Well, the backstory is Eddie has been fighting cancer. He's doing so much better. And he hadn't caught a surf fish in 2022 until yesterday. And I got to tell you, man, that was a thrill for me. And it was a thrill for Eddie. He's still talking about it. Just got a text from him a moment ago. So really a beautiful moment. And all of your thoughts and prayers, everything you've done for Eddie, in terms of your thoughts, your prayers, your positive vibes are paying off. He's doing so much better, and I am so happy to report that to you. And there's a lot of people who are ill out there right now. Paul Burbank and several other friends we always keep them in our thoughts and prayers. And especially during the holiday season, we will continue to do just that. All right, raffle, don't forget that. Helps our efforts in Mexico. We truly need your help. January the 6th, kids trip in the morning. Bring your kids out, have some fun with us. One o'clock in the afternoon, one to four, we're going to be doing a landing event at 22nd Street Landing, including, fingers crossed, Eddie Leland teaching your kids how to tie the three most important knots in sport fishing. They will have it down when we get finished up with that. Hey, man, this tide keeps coming up. I think that's uh, uh, somebody upstairs trying to tell me, dude, you need to sh shut up for a little while and go fishing because it's perfect conditions. It's really gorgeous here this morning, another beautiful day, and it's really an honor and a pleasure for me to spend some time with you. I deeply appreciate you doing that. Smash that like button, share these videos, check out our shorts, and once again, I can't thank you enough for all you do. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Hanukkah. Send you all my very, very best, and I hope to see you really, really soon. catch more surf fish in Southern California, then you need to dig up sandworms because they are an outstanding bait. Find those little holes in the sand and then dig a hole. Cave in the sides and you'll find the sandworms. Nothing can resist them. Yes, coming up. Freaking nice bar perch. Oh, good. Woo. good job, man. Oh, Phil, I'm so glad you talked me into this. Oh. Woo! What a way to start the morning. Yeah, he's back. He these small round stingrays can inflict an immense amount of pain. The best thing you can do is to soak the wound in warm water. Do you have a suggestion? Put a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you.